What's going on guys? Today we're going to talk about blanks in Power BI. Now some of you might love them, but there might be occasions where you'd rather have a zero in the report instead. Whether that's a user requirement or you want to use the measure further down the line, or you might have your own reasons for clicking this video in the first place and wanting there to be zeros instead of blanks in your report. Well, I've got two ways to achieve this in DAX, so let's get stuck in. Okay, so on the left hand side here, I've got a very, very simple sales report just by country and by year. And you can see that where there aren't any sales, this is showing as blanks. And then on the right hand side, I've got the exact same matrix here, but with zeros instead where there are no sales to be found. So how have I achieved this? Well, like I said, we can do this in two different ways. First one would be to look at the DAX here and we've got the count of sales, which is the measure that we're using on the left hand side. And what we're going to do here is just wrap this inside an is blank to see whether that result is blank and then also wrap that inside an if statement. So the DAX in total will read if is blank count of sales zero and then if it's not blank just return count of sales and that will produce what we've got on the right hand side here where we've got zeros instead of blanks and where it's not blank in the first place then we just see the value that it originally was now that works absolutely fine and you can go away from this video and use if is blank that's absolutely not a problem but in my opinion there is a much more simple and more elegant way to achieve this and if I just take off the if is blank version of this and click this measure, you'll see that we've still got the zeros here. And the actual DAX here is just count of sales plus zero. And that will achieve exactly the same thing in a much more simple and much more elegant way. Now, why does this actually work in the first place? Well, using plus zero means that the default value for the field is going to be zero. It's always going to be numeric. If there aren't any fails for that period, then it will always just return zero. Otherwise, if there is a figure coming back, then, well, you're adding zero to it. You're not changing that value in the first place. So for example, for Australia for 2013, it's 60. Well, you're returning 60 plus zero. Well, that's always going to be the same value as it was in the first place. So you can see exactly how this works. So there we go, guys, a very quick video showing two ways to replace blanks in your reports with zeros. I'm sure there are others. Let me know if you've used any different option yourself and let me know if you plan to use this in the future. But for now, guys, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.